Yes. So Trump is complaining about Harris, uh, who's had huge rallies and uh, a lot of donations coming in. Uh, and it looks like Mr. Trump has been in a foul mode, as reported. The past few weeks, he has ranted about Miss Harris, has called her nasty, uh, and on Fox and Friends, and a bitch reportedly in private, according to two people who have heard the remarks on different occasions. And that means we have Kamala. I think she's going to be better. She's so bad. She's so pathetic. It's just so fucking bad, so I just can't make it. This is a fucking bad song. This is a fucking bad song. And this, bitch. yes. <laughs> In response, <laughs> is that Bruno Mars? Yes. Ain't that the Bruno Mars? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the Trump campaign has responded back saying that is not language President Trump has used to describe Kamala and is not how the campaign would characterize her. So this Cap. Ca- yeah, I, I definitely yeah. believe that's Cap. Definite Cap. Bitch. So this comes... Oh, he put black in there because he wanted to know, but he said she want black. Yeah. He said she said she was Indian. Yeah. And all of a sudden, she wanted to be black. Right. I got said. the wrong candidate. That yeah. shit was funny, boy. That shit was funny, Haley, that yeah. shit was funny to me. That shit was kind of hilarious, but as I've mentioned, it's not cool for white people to it's discuss. It's not cool. It's just he's stupid. Yeah, you know it was just ignorant, but I think it was caught off guard because I know uh, that that's not something we were expect. Well, I mean, I was expecting that from Trump, but that's not something you would normally nigga, expect. I've been expecting this shit from this dude. Like, how know? do you just go to sleep, wake up, morning, and all of a sudden you're both? <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting more derogatory remarks from Trump. I'm not. Even, I'm expecting all type of derogatory remarks from this dude. Then you go sleep, wake up, black. How's that happen? Yeah. So basically, it looks like at an August second meeting, yeah. Trump defended questioning Harris's race. Uh, Trump said he thinks he's right. And he added, I am who I am. So Trump has been uh, basically throwing shots. And I'm waiting for Trump to turn all white extremists. And just, I'm waiting for him to slip and he's say already, it publicly. He's already done so. He already done so. so. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, no, he's going to accidentally slip and use the N word publicly. Yeah. And he's going to end up calling her a bitch publicly. So, yeah. but hey. You. Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> this bitch. I mean, hell, when you, when you got when you got the on when you got the on doing the same thing, like, hey, giving them ground cover, do so. Indeed. But on the other side, um, Trump is pushing away a lot of Republicans. As you yeah. saw, there was a rally going on in Arizona with uh, Kamala Harris and her vice presidential nominee. What's the dude's name? Waltz. 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 Tim, Tim Waltz. Tim Waltz. Yeah, so they're gaining a ton of support, and they actually had the uh, mayor of Mesa, Arizona, who's a staunch Republican, uh, John Giles, uh, Republican. They're up on them. They're turning. They're turning. And, like, this is going to be so interesting. You don't owe a damn thing to that political party. And by all means, you owe no displaced loyalty to a candidate that is morally and ethically bankrupt. Yes. Because I already see Kamala winning. I see that. Yeah. Oh, that's an easy and, one. And I yeah. see Trump losing it. Yeah. I mean, this time, like, losing it, losing it for real this time. Because yeah. he done lost to a black nasty. Be outside? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So you know, I'm waiting for that I, debate. His words, Didn't but, they uh, agree to a debate? Uh, yeah, yeah, NBC. Wh- when is that? Uh, September. I'm looking I'll forward sure to I'm that. Looking at, I'm watching that. That's going to be a very, very interesting uh, square off. So that's yeah. yeah because he, he it, can't. What he can gonna, he say? He's going to hear how stupid he's saying. Yeah, like you, he was already stupid with, uh, <laughs> with you know Biden, but, but we already know Biden was a little slow too. Was just lying. But now throwing zingers. Like, what can you say? Yeah, okay, nobody got to quicker get back to the black woman, baby. So what is it that you got to say? Hold on. Somebody question her blackness. Well, somebody says she wh- ain't watch black. Watch how black she, she get. Question her blackness. Yeah. Somebody watch somebody. how black she get when it come to this right here. As watch always. How she, watch how her hood come out. That she, she know she had in Well, I mean, whether we, whether we can agree or not, she has black in her. Her dad's side is black. So, hey, that, is a, that, that issue is dead. 
She is My right. issue with Kamala Harris has always been she said she is not going to do anything specifically to help I black mean, people. Again, we, again, I mean, again, again, I can take it. Yeah. yeah. But what you got to understand is when you are a president for the United States of America and you are one of the few, and we say few too, this mm-hmm. should be number two, to ever lead this country, you cannot come out and say that shit. Yeah, because you can. You, if you do, your coalition is not going to be as tight for you to win. So I'm sorry. I know we want to hear that shit loud and clear, but you can't say that shit. Now, once we get about five, ten in in there, then yeah, they can start talking that shit. They can say that shit, and it be evident. And why is that? Because that means the black coalition has turned has end up. Um, being firm tightly when it comes to voting on a regular basis um, between that and as well as uh, campaigning, you know what I'm saying? Then when you get that, then they can start talking like that. But as of right now, can't talk like that because no white folks don't want to hear that shit. Yeah. But still, uh, as I always say, you will never hear a Jewish politician say he's not going to do something that's just going to benefit Jewish people. No, you're not. And he's going to say, I'm going to make this very clear. No. Well, just like Kamala said it. No. She put some stank on that, no. She wanted niggas to know that. And then, then to when did, no. and then to also, when was that question answered? Acts as well. Was it? It was asked during uh, It was asked during her stance on reparations. All right. So when was that, though? Was that like vice president? That was 2020. All right. So see now. So now. I yes. bet you if you ask her that question again. She'll say no. She'll, no. She wouldn't say no. She'd be like, hell no, niggas. <laughs> she wouldn't say no. She would, she would, it'll, it'll be, it'll be, yeah. it'll be curtailed a lot differently. She's going to be like, uh, one of her policies was a hot sauce in every bag for black Americans. Uh, yeah, that, that Hillary Rodham Clinton playbook. She going to be pandering. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of yeah. agreeing with Vita. I'm not a big fan of Kamala, but I, mean, I know but nobody, she's a better but, choice than Trump. But, but nobody, but see again, nobody hasn't heard what either side gonna do for the country. Number one, I still so can't see how y'all disrespecting this black lady. Yeah, I don't about, even. She's, she's black not, when it's she convenient. Don't claim black. Exactly. She she went to HBCUs like she's right. she's, she's claiming. Mark Robinson, Robinson went to an HBCU. But I'm just saying, just, but it doesn't make sense. Her, right, her actions t- says otherwise. You feel uh-huh. what I'm saying? Some, some points y'all are trying to make. Just Michael Vick? No. Like that. Exactly. Oh, and like I said, when it's coming from it's coming from your own, you're just making it loud and clear, easy for the white folks to say what they say. So what? as we know, on without either party has said what the hell they're going to do, for the country, because that yet has that hasn't been said. But you know, everybody ain't gonna just agree. if we just if we just go, we just, want us all to agree and just you know, but everybody's not gonna agree. And that's but, what makes but, it we're not the, monolithic. But that's not. That's but the thing to. about it is, but what's being said is lame. It's not when to say lame. It's bland. But you, it's nothing in yeah, depth. I'm the reason saying. why you just say, "Oh, I don't like her." I'm just saying. It's plenty of that's things that you. What y'all? I, I, I'm just curious as in what what the conversation is about. Oh, I mean, now he want I mean, to pop up at after everything's I mean, moderated. I'm sorry. Oh, what's going on and stuff. Well, I know. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean well, well, I knew what the conversation was downstairs when y'all were yelling, acting like, I, mean, but now I don't have neighbors. All, but now we talking all, now we talking all calm and collective. Yeah, now Brandon want to pop he wanna, up. He want to, he want to jump all in. Now, all now so, you know, I got neighbors and stuff like that, you know, I, and, and, and so, you know. They're tuning in now. We wouldn't, we, we. Your neighbors are listening. Fuck them. Yeah, they, they gotta be y'all loud as hell. But I don't know what y'all are talking about. We I were think talking y'all... about um, Kamala Harris. I'm gonna throw this one, then I'm gonna let y'all get back. And this is just my input. I never get to talk on anything being I work now. My first thing is this. Well, not that I work now, but that I work with. But I'll be back next week, though. That's cool. I'll be back Saturday. So I'll be back from now on on Saturdays. But any. But anyway, like I was about to say, people sit here and they be like, well, you know, it's a it's a choice between two people. I've seen Trump's for 
four years already. Wasn't really excited about it. Not really excited about it again. When he pulled the race card the other night, just as a black, like Dub said, I can't let a white person determine somebody else's blackness. And one of the biggest problems in our country is biracial people. They don't know where they Dang. fit in sometimes. <laughs> no, 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 stop, 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 Yo, stop, stop, no, no. You, let, what did Derek let, Jeter let, do let, to you, let, nigga? Let me, let me, let me finish, let me finish. Y'all, y'all are jumping up so quick, but let me finish. No, no, it's, I'm getting ready to follow through what I said. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah, what I'm saying is biracial, biracial people already have a hard enough time, especially in the black community, yes, because if you're black mixed with anything else, they don't accept you like that. that is so true. that is one of our biggest problems in this country mm -hmm. now. Donald Trump, he just went at it wrong. He could have got a, you know, he could have really won people over. No, no, no. But, but no, it's just him. But what I'm saying is he brought up something that is a big thing in this country. People who are dealing with being biracial, because especially we know black people who are mixed with something else, and a lot of black people will say, well, we don't consider them black. Well, there's a whole bunch because, of a lot more black people mixed with something else than it is black people now, really. And, and so, that's I mean, if you really think about it. And that's like, true, but... And this is what I told Fancy. See, I think the race is going to be decided by a women. Women are going to decide oh, this yeah, race. And I think biracial people are going to play a part in this race as no, well. They're not. I believe so. Because you have people of different ethnicities who do have a hard time identifying with the culture, so especially the black culture. Excuse me? So they're going to go with Trump? because I didn't say they were going to go with Trump. I said, tell you quick, fuck Trump. I said because of the way he said it, it definitely black. offended black way? people. Or some black people, I know they were definitely yeah, offended by what he said, by questioning her <laughs> ethnicity. And then we'll be like, well, she's, I believe, Indian and black. Black. Jamaican. Okay, yeah, okay, kind of boom. Korean but as soon as, soon, as, soon as somebody tells you that Bob Marley isn't black, you're going to be ready to fight everybody in the room. Right or wrong? Bob Marley fought for black cars. But I'm just saying, as soon as it, the makeup is just the same, as soon as somebody says Bob Marley isn't black, you'll be ready to tear the whole room down. Yeah, Remember, take that. It's the same thing. It's the I same don't thing. I no. That's on. all I want Bob to say. Bob Marley didn't marry a white woman. And he never denounced his blackness. Right. And he never denounced his blackness. Yeah, he never so we, did. We definitely cannot put and that And Bob Marley way. never said he wouldn't do something just for black people. No. He did he never, everything. He never, and he, he wanted to make that abundantly also, clear. He also has never been put in that position to have to ask that question like that. And I don't so know, let's be fair. His ass up. Let's be fair. Let's be fair on that. Probably you know what I'm saying? I so think Kamala he, needs to do reggae. Kamala. Kamala. I believe that I believe you can take those comments what she said, hold her accountable. But those comments were made years ago. Now, yes. I believe if you ask her that same question, it would it will be articulated differently. Yes. That's just my opinion. Because when you are when there's levels to this shit. When you are a prosecutor on a local level, you know, you don't get that much attention. Mm -hmm. When you're on attorney attorney general level, still no type of attention. Vice president and president, that's a different ballgame because you need people from different sectors, coalition, to win the election. You can't, it's not going to be one heavy race or one heavy gender that's going to decide this race. So, again, it's fair game to hold her accountable for anything that she has said in the past. But yes. give her an opportunity to, to make it right. Make it right. We okay. gave Joe Biden that same thing. He did a 94 crime bill. We gave him opportunity. We gave countless of white people yes. who've done bad things in the past, gave them opportunity they were to, the lawmakers, to, give it, to make it right. She hasn't even really done anything. And it's like, motherfuckers just like slaughtering her. And I'm just like, yo, there's never going to be that perfect Negro. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So let's just like cool out. Let's listen to what what's going to be said and let's keep in fact that this motherfucker did try to overthrow the government. I don't even that know why true. I don't even know why people just keep acting like that shit just didn't happen live. We didn't just, we didn't see thousands of white people bum rush the fucking damn capital cuz we all know if that was anybody black that orchestrated some shit like that 
You will see a lot of dead niggas. We just gonna call yes, it like it is. That you feel is what true. I'm saying? And that nigga would not be in a position to be able to run for office again and be convicted. Be convicted and be in a position to win. He does have thirty four felonies. I mean, like the point, like yeah. he's running to stay out of prison. He's running to stay out of prison. Yeah, he's right. gonna, but he's running to stay out of prison. Yeah, no, no, no. After he loses, he's gonna go to prison. He's running for president to stay out of prison. It's just that simple. Well, he don't care about y'all. He don't care about y'all. Well, I understand that. I mean, like I said, so it's just this is my thing. When this is why I get, this is why I get a little passionate when I hear people attacking Kamala. And it's like you haven't even heard shit what she said. You know what I'm saying? What she's going to do? I hear what Trump say and all the time. Yeah, I, we seen what Trump. We, <laughs> we hear, I hear we what hear this Trump, dude say regularly. We see what he does, and here we are. And I'm just like, hey, is it, she's black, regardless. So how is it that we can give a white man an opportunity? Again, who again he tried to overthrow the government. Let's yes, call it like he did. It is. You know what I'm saying? How can we even give him the breath of even trying that when we got cousins that's crackheads that done stole from us? Y'all won't even give him a, another shot in hell to come to your motherfucking house again. Cause you know they gonna fucking steal your shit. But here we are. We got this this nigga here, a convicted felon. You gonna give Creed just because you're gonna, you know, knock her down. Give her opportunity to say what she's going to say. And like I said, she is smarter than the motherfucker. And credentials speak. Just wait till the debate. If everybody, just wait till the debate. And that, that and that, that's going to put she, everything. Gonna look, the, look you. you know, it, one thing he about a black, yeah, one thing about a black stutter, woman, one thing about a black woman, we all know. Mm -hmm. She going to be ready for this debate. And she is going to eat him alive. And it's going to show the difference in who these two people are. And all he's going to resort to is name calling. He's oh. going to call her stupid. Yeah. Wait, well, first of all, she's 60. That, that doesn't Regardless happen that, anymore. I mean, do, we don't know that. What else do you expect him to do? Like, honestly, what, are, what do you expect him? Like, this is nothing but a damn circus. This is another circus. This is another shit show. This is not a real political match. This is just entertainment. This is the world. This is the states on a fucking TV screen, fucking at, on a reality show. That's what the fuck this bullshit is. And then on top of that, we just ran Joe Biden out of the office because he was old. Yeah, because he's old. Now, yeah, now, now old you looking at Trump like, another well, well hold on. Because, okay, right now, he's, to me, he's starting in dementia. But if he's elected, just think two years into this process where his head's going to be at and stuff like that. Again, he attempted to overthrow the fucking government. So yeah. that, that's my thing. He's the old guy in the election that's probably, if not in dementia, on the verge of it. Man, listen. Like, get this is this is the one thing I dislike about my people. We don't get the same energy. You just like you just said, biting ass, get your ass up out of here because you're old and shit, right? Now mm -hmm. here we go, Trump. Ain't nobody giving this old ass nigga the same energy and shit. Nah, I they am. the same age. Yeah, I, they I, about exactly. the same age. And on top of that, right? Look, check it. Now I'm, I'm about to get y'all a zinger right quick. Here we are. We got a we got a 34 convicted felon, right? Mm -hmm. And giving him, you got 50 Cent, everything. You know what I'm saying? Giving him his theme song. And here we are, we got Diddy, right? All we got is a deal. He got a video, he whooped some ass, which yes. is bad. And he has not been convicted. And we and we, and we just totally just got just got rid of his ass. You know what I'm saying? He he can't even come around to cook out none of that shit. But y'all, y'all invite Trump. Bitch ass to the cookout. No, no, no. Invite no. Trump to the cookout. Right he like his steak well done. I don't trust some that these, nigga. Some of these no, niggas will invite. Some of these niggas will invite Trump to the goddamn cookout. I wouldn't. I don't know. I don't know. He can't come to my cookout. He over there with Stacey Dash and um. Oh, look, look. Oh, <laughs> look at oh. You still Wait, got the damn. damn. What? Over the fence. <laughs> that bitch can't have no macaroni and cheese. Bitch. Oh man! Shit. So I guess everybody. They can't even get a plate. They can't even smell the grill out like this motherfucker. 
I, I guess uh, everybody's excited about the elections. Yeah, I am. Yeah. I am. Uh, like finally, you remember? You remember a, a month, couple months a month ago, month ago we were like, man, yeah, we yeah. vote local. I'm yeah, I saying, still vote say local. vote local. Still vote local. Still vote. We local. still got yeah. We still, still got our governor's vote. race. 